Now, if you want to know what's cool, creative, and making news in Africa, well, you can watch this program, no doubt about that. But we're not the only ones doing it. Nigerian-British comedian Ikena Azuike writes and presents a satirical online news show about stories connected to Africa and Africans. Let's take a look at him in action. Let me try something, okay? okay. That's the power of God. Yes. That's the power of God. Oh, yes. You are president mm. for one day. Mm -hmm. President for one day. What yes. would you do? The first thing I would change is to give them 24 hours light. I'd say because I know that's the major issue Nigerians have right now. Buying generator, running fuel. As a lot! As a lot! The next thing would be security. Well, you don't feel safe? You're with the pastor now. <laughs> Ikena Azuike joins us now. Ikena, when you tell people that you actually have a background in finance and law, do they believe you after watching this kind of stuff? Yeah, I, I don't think so, man. It's been, uh, it feels like I don't, though, because that's really quite far, uh, it's quite a long time ago that I used to do that. Uh, tell us the short version of the story, because, uh, you know, for most people, the transition from what you're doing now, uh, fr from law and from finance, I mean, what led to this? Man, I guess it was just a, a sense of frustration about the portrayal of Africa and Western media, a lot of Western media anyway. Um, but at the same time, wanting to do something original, something creative, and that was also critical. But um, getting it past my dad, you know? That's that, what I want to talk tricky. about because, I mean, tricky. anyone with African parents, I mean, most parents, wouldn't be too thrilled about the idea of sending a child through law school and then they come back and say, I'm going to tell jokes. It, it was tough. It was tough. Mm. Um, yeah, you know the school, if you've got Nigerian, if you've got an African parent, mm. focuses on uh, professions. You mm -hmm. have to be a lawyer, a doctor, doctor. Mm -hmm. a accountant. Um, and I remember my dad introducing me to people like, okay, hello, hello, this is my son. He's going to be a lawyer, mm -hmm. you know? So, uh, and then it, after that, it was, okay, his name is Ikenna. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but is it having an impact? I mean, you're combining humor with, with, with more serious issues, confronting, you know, challenges on the continent. Is it having the desired impact? Are you looking at the results and saying, yes, this is exactly what I wanted to do? Uh, re absolutely. And uh, in fact, it actually keeps me going. The mm. kind of reactions uh, that I get from the show uh, from fans who like the show are just inspirational. Um, I, may, I think I'm able to talk about subjects um, in, a, in a humorous way, which means that people who ordinarily wouldn't care about those subjects mm -hmm. start... Um, because I know no subject is taboo for you. You'll take on pastors and politicians and, you know, public policy makers. Have you ever gotten everybody? Everybody. Have you gotten any negative feedback in the sense that you know the traditional thing that you don't respect your elders, certain things you cannot make fun of. In fact, God will punish you for what you're doing. Wow, no, that's heavy, heavy negativity. No, I haven't actually. Oh, it's just me then. <laughs> exactly. Well, my dad raises his eyebrows at some mm -hmm. stuff, but um, yeah, I was surprised. You know that clip that you showed about mm. the uh, the pastor on the streets of Surulere in Lagos. Precisely. Um, people are very spiritual, so I wonder how they're going to react to to the pastor. But people People played along and they get the sense that it is satire. I'm trying to talk about issues that affect the ordinary person in the street and, um, uh, and they were playing along as I was saying, hey man, hey man, yeah. people were saying it back, it was cool. Do you have a, a goal, a finishing line or something you, you, you seek to achieve from you know, where you are now? Is, is there a point where you'll say, yes, I've achieved my goal? Well, I would love to use this, this show as a, a podium for pan-African satirical uh, comedic talent. Right. Um, so right now it's just me, but there are plenty of awesome, fantastic satirists mm -hmm. uh, across sub-Saharan Africa, well, across the world obviously, Gado in Kenya, uh, Anne Kansime, a comedian. Is there one subject that you haven't touched on that you want to take on sometime soon? Ooh, wow, 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 wow. Mm, What's your think. pet peeve about the continent? It, it, is, it is religious pastors. It is yeah. millionaire, billionaire pastors yeah. with, bi with fantastic private jets yeah. um, asking for tithes from people who don't have the cash. Well, know? there's some great material on that online. Folks, I encourage you to uh, take a look at uh, Ikenna's material. Thanks very much for coming in. Thanks we for do having appreciate me. it.